Hello everyone. Today I am going to be showing you how to fix your CD DVD drive if it has disappeared. Uh, a lot of times when it disappears it's because of a registry issue and not because your drive is bad. Um, this is one of the easiest ways to diagnose and just to see if it is actually the registry issue. If this doesn't fix it then obviously you'll have to do a little bit more diagnostics. But here we go. Uh, I'm using Windows 7, so the way you do that is you click on your Start button, and down here in the Search Programs and Files box, you just type in RegEdit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, all one word. Windows XP is the same, except you click on the Start button, and you click the Run box there. But you will type in the same thing, RegEdit, and then hit Enter. That will then bring up your Registry Editor. Now here I'll... Uh, show you the actual path that you need to take. Um, first you want to click the the H key local machine. Underneath that there's a system folder. Go ahead and double click on that. Underneath system you will see current control set. Double click into there. Underneath current control set is control. Now under control you'll want to look for class, the folder of class, and then this is where it gets tricky. Underneath here there's a lot of randomly named folders. So starting with the top you'll want to work your way down. You'll notice that they're grouped into groupings separated by a dash. You will just focus right now on the first grouping. That's all you'll need to know is the first grouping. So as you work your way down you're going to want to find one that ends with 6-5. Uh, the first one usually right here ends with 5-1. So work your way down until you find one that ends with 6-5. And here it looks like it's probably about 10 down. I found it right here, 4D36E965. So I found the folder that ended with 6-5. If I click on that, it brings up the, the uh, numerators and stuff on the right side. Now this is where it gets messed up. Drivers will change uh, different filters and different uh, data here in this portion. And this is this is for the DVD and CD-ROM drives, as you can see up here. Now what gets messed up is the lower filters and upper filters. Uh, these filters here just sort of help the machine know what to do with it, but it does get confused a lot of times. If you just click on that and hit your delete button, It'll ask you, are you sure you want to change this or delete this? Just click yes. You also want to do that for the upper filters also. So once you make sure your lower and upper filters are deleted, all you have to do now is restart your machine. A lot of the times this will fix your disappearing CD DVD drive issue. Uh, if it doesn't, then obviously you'll have to do a little bit more diagnostics, but this should fix a lot of those issues when it when it disappears. So to repeat again, the path to get there is H key local machine, system, current control set, control, class, and then you're going to want to find the folder that ends with 6-5 in the first grouping. And that's as simple as it gets. Thanks for watching.